Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress, and this is Venus energy, Taurus, Libra energy. So this is a card of someone who is showing up as abundant, um, someone who is valuable. This, If this, someone is viewing you like this, they could be putting you on a bit of a pedestal, thinking quite highly of you. There's this energy also of a long-lasting relationship, um, laying the groundwork or planting seeds for that, wanting to, you know, seeing a future with someone. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords, Air Energy, the Page of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Two of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Yeah, it, it looks like you and someone could be communicating um, with the Ace of Swords. It looks like they're speaking their truth to you. Um, there's a breakthrough happening because of this communication. This is someone who you could have viewed as being uh, indecisive about you or unsure at some point. It looks like they're making a decision. And they want to move forward with you. They want to invest in you. So let's clarify these cards, uh, Gemini. Okay, we have the King of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a card of someone who is wanting to pursue. This is someone who knows what they want, um, and they're quite passionate. So they, they're taking the lead here. They're initiating things. So let's see. We have the Two of Swords, Air Energy. Ten of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the Queen of Swords, Air Energy. So you guys may be having some sort of very direct, upfront communication with the Queen of Pen Queen of Swords being here. Um, with the Two of Swords being there, it does look like you may have been a bit guarded towards this person. They like they're gonna have to kind of prove themselves to you, but they are up for that challenge because they want this Ten of Pentacles with you. They want that happy, successful, long term, secure, stable kind of relationship with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you, um, Gemini. Okay, so we have, you are good enough, full moon in Virgo. Okay, we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So there could be someone who's struggling with this, or at some point they were, and this is why they couldn't fully give themselves over to you or the connection. Okay, so let's see. We have nobility and self-esteem. There is nothing noble in being superior to fellow men. True nobility lies in being superior to your former self. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for you if I was Gemini. Okay, we have surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. 
Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.